The old man was trying to tell the future, looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see evil, evil, born deep beneath the city. Far from the light of day, I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steel. Scheming in the dark, gathering strength. And now, oh, now the evil spreads. It sends deadly feelers over the land above. Across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times, but I humored him. After all, he'd been like a father to me. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear, I fear the evil wants you. That was when Joey piped up. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than a demon. But the next thing, all hell let loose in. Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Hell! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! He was only a robot. Oh, I love the little guy. Then, as suddenly as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then... Whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who wasn't born in this garbage dump. Who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me. The day of the crash. The day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? R Robert. Ah, oh, welcome to the gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for mother. His tribe was poor but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city, discovered new talents. Ha! I'm your friend. Call me Joey. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you, now that you've come of age, son. We found you, fostered you, so that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time! Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone, starting with you, Grandad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me, or what it would do next? It was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Much too late. Why, you murdering? Keep him quiet! All I could do was wait. Just like on a hunt. Just like the old man taught me. Wait, and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. But what was I? Why did... Sir! The guidance system! It's gone crazy! We're going to hit! Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash.
What you want? Looking for a saboteur from the Gap. He crashed a chopper and escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator. And the crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine, we posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Reich, eh? This guy must be important. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to you. These guys are out to get me, but why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. I could make use of that. Fire exit. Do not obstruct. Key available on presentation of requisition form SOS23. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. Who's up there? You won't escape that way! He must have jumped. Fell all the way to ground level. Phew. Lucky escape. Security symbol. That must be their headquarters. That panel in the floor looks like an elevator. It's wheezing and banging, like an asthmatic dinosaur in the mating season. I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. It doesn't look as if it would bear my weight. A transport droid. Wonder if I could fix it. If Joey was here, he'd know what to do. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. Damn, it's an old model with incompatible ports. A discarded coffee machine? Whatever that was, it's beyond repair.
I'm not picking it up. I don't even know what it is. That's no use. There's no jug. Pretty lights. And a keyhole. But no sign of a key. Flashing lights like these can be hypnotic. There's no way of changing the sequence. An elevator to the floor below. Hey! What are you doing? Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Well, keep off that elevator. Your weight set the alarm off. And I can't concentrate with all that noise. Excuse me. What now? Who's in charge around here? Not me. I just work here. Hobbins is the name. Who's in charge and where can I find him? It's Lamb you'll be wanting. He's the supervisor. I see. And who does he work for? The council, of course. Tell me more about the council. They govern the city, with the help of Link. What's that? The computer they built as their advisor. What was it like before Link? Ah, those were the days, son. We didn't have the problems we got now. So who built the computer? Search me. Flipping research scientist, probably. How come your fire exit leads nowhere? You've been up there. It's not safe. I could see that. If you break your legs, don't come running to me for sympathy. Where am I? You're in the Union City recycling plant. What's the best way out of the city? You'll have to get to ground level first. You're at the top of Erie Tower Block. Can't I use your elevator? No, you can't. It's not built for humans. And besides, it only goes down to the furnace. So how do I get to ground level? There's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Cause Reich's boys are guarding the exit from the plant. How come your elevator's not working? It's activated automatically by the transport robot. What's wrong with the transport? It's broken down. Again. <laughs> it's probably the Doppler charge thingamajig. But I haven't got time to mend it now. What did security want? After a saboteur. You seen anything suspicious? I saw a wrecked helicopter. Yeah, seems it blocked the walkway. So we're stuck in this block. What goes on in here? It's me workshop. <laughs> like it? It's very impressive. A symbol of dehumanized society. The futile struggle against entropy. Symbol, my bum. <laughs> Only thing this symbolizes is 30 years of hard graft. What are you making? It's a special job. A drive shaft. Lamb needs it for the pipe factory. 
I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Whatever that was, it's beyond repair. It's a robot shell. Rusty, but it might work. Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are, or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down, and keep out of the way of security. What's our present location? What does it matter? We've had it. Can you start that transport? Do yourself, Foster. I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? Can you distract that maintenance man? What do you suggest? A song and dance routine? A few conjuring tricks? Now you're being silly. That little shell suits you, Joey. Get lost, Foster. It's awful. Find me a new one. What tools does that shell have? None of any use, unless you're into housework. I've got an onboard buffing and polishing tool, and an extendable probe. We have to get out of this city. Can't we just stay here? Don't you miss our home, the Gap? With all that sand clogging my circuits? No, I don't. Forget it. I told you to stay off the elevator. That alarm is driving me spare. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. What are you doing? Get out! That's my personal property! Not again! Are you trying to wind me up? Just double checking. Gah! Flipping inspectors! Give me an analysis, Joey. It's a 30 millimeter wrench. And you can keep it away from my nuts. 
Give me an analysis, Joey. It contains flour, water, vegetable oil, salt, egg, garlic, with glycerin and pig lungs. Oh, disgusting. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. There's no obvious reason why this droid isn't working. I can't operate it without the key. Lots of buttons just asking to be pressed. There must be a secret combination. It's a lever with a big red knob just waiting to be pulled. It must be controlled by the computer. About that temporary shell, Joey. I don't want to talk about it. I'll find you a new shell, I promise. I should hope so. Marvelous! I get kidnapped, nearly killed in a copter crash, hunted by professional thugs, and I'm stuck with a robot in a sulk. Forget it. It's more impressive than the ones back home. It's displaying te These figures mean nothing to me. There's no way of changing the sequence. Flashing lights like these can be hypnotic. Can you start that transport? How do you expect me to do that? I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? It's the, uh, Knopfler charge reducer thingy. In that case, all it needs is a jump start. This is embarrassing, Foster. You're not gonna watch, are you? I always suspected you of being a voyeur. Come on, just do it. Here goes. There. How was it for you? Some oven. Wonder what's cooking. I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. That thing's watching me. 
Good thing I'm naturally photogenic. It's much too high to reach. This must be where the scrap gets melted. Is that why you brought me here? Don't worry, kid. They'd only take premium quality scrap. Think this could be a way out? Through the furnace? I don't rate our chances. If you can't be sensible, be quiet. I think we're being watched. They seem to think you're someone special. I can't imagine why. You didn't tell me you could fly. I didn't know I had it in me. Forget it. That's got to be a way out. No buttons, just a thin slot. I've got nothing that would fit. It must need a special card. Can you open that door? I'll give it a try. No sudden moves over, man. Get over to the furnace. You're Officer Reich, I presume. You've made a mistake. I'm not Overman. Link, we can't let him escape. What the hell is going on? Reich seems pretty cut up about it. But he's given me two leads, Overman and Link. Barbecued. I'll never eat kebab again. He was carrying an ID card. The card may be useful. And I'll take his dark glasses, too. We're way up in the clouds, Joey. We need to find a way to the ground. What do you reckon we should do? See that railing? Uh-huh. Take a jump over it, Foster. It's a link terminal. It's a link terminal.
Yes. I'd like to... Is this regarding a domestic incident? I've been transferred from domestics. I have this tendency to get emotionally involved. You're too sensitive, Sam. It's my nature, Norville. It's not about a domestic. That's a relief. Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. I'd like to join the security services. Are you kidding? You mean you're volunteering? That's right. I heard it's a great life. It is. But you're not hard enough. You've got to have tattoos and stuff. Yes? I'd like a few answers. Yes? How do I get down to ground level? Who is Overman? Who is Reich? And why was he killed? You can get information from the Link Terminal. Just who are you, anyway? I'm here to inspect the building. Yes? That's right. Routine inspection. Yes? Heard anything about an inspection, Sam? What kind of an inspection, Norville? A routine inspection. Routine, oh? Huh. That's unusual. It's not convenient right now. Quit pestering me when I'm busy. It's not triggered by... Having a problem with your card? Let me check that for you. My card is coated with porridge. Porridge? Yeah, I dropped it in my breakfast. I meant to clean it, but I forgot. I've done that so many times myself. Really? It's so easily done, isn't it? You're having breakfast, you're in a rush, and plop. Your card submerged in soggy cereal. Interlevel access suspended during routine anti-terrorist strike. Security services protecting the community. Either it's the wrong card or the elevator's not working, which means I'm trapped. A loose cable. Now that could be very useful. I can't reach the cable. It's a robot welder. Joey would love that shell. There's no access to his inside. How can we get off this level, Joey? We need to find an elevator. Unless you're prepared to jump. Do you want a new shell, Joey? Do you mean that welder? That's right. You like it? I'll say. It's the mutt's nuts. The shell can't be removed while the robot's active. What are you doing? I'm checking the pipes. They have to be perfect. That's ridiculous. 
If they have to be perfect, they should be checked by a robot. What's that? He's my mechanoid chum, Joey. It's cute. Does it do tricks? Not really. He just follows me around and gets in my way. How do I get down to ground level? Take the elevator. Or the big jump and you're desperate. The elevator's not working. Oh, great. Lamb will be furious if he can't get down to Bellevue for his lunch. Has security been in here? Yeah, they were really stirred up. I think they were looking for someone. Look, I'm not supposed to talk to you. Why not? Supervisor's orders. I'm transferring you, lass. I wish you wouldn't call me that. My name is Anita. Don't answer back, woman. Report to the testing room immediately. What are you doing here? Do you know who I am, lad? I've no idea. I don't work here. I'm Gilbert Lamb, the supervisor. Mind if I look around? I certainly do. Who are you? Security. Looking for a fugitive. This factory's been searched already. He's not here. Can't be too careful. Just don't interfere with production. What's that robot doing here? He's my personal assistant. Say hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. <laughs> Pity he's got no brain. I don't understand it at all. The display is incomprehensible. That's really put a wrench in the works. Oh, no! Production stopped! You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? The machinery looks outdated to me. It's not that old. It was only built 30 years ago. That explains why it stopped, doesn't it? Oh, well, I'll pretend I didn't notice it. My mistake, thought it was the John. It's the storeroom, for robots only. Lamb doesn't trust humans to go in there, even though there's nothing worth pinching. The cogs are wrecked, but the wrench is fine. I'll keep this wrench, it's really useful. Excuse me. Any intruders to report? No, sir. Hey, just a minute. Who are you? Security. I suppose you're looking for the intruder. Yeah. Seen anything suspicious? I've been too busy with this rush job. Don't you get bored working here? Well, not me. I like my job. What's so good about it? Well, this clipboard, for starters. 
Look at the finish on that plastic. Lovely piece of lamination. Isn't it just? I can tell you're proud of it. Oh, yes. They don't make clipboards like this anymore. Aren't you going to mend the conveyor? That's not my job. My job is to record figures. But everything stopped. My clipboard still works. But what about the pipes? What pipes? The ones on the conveyor belt. That's a special order. And I can't talk about it. Top secret, huh? That's right. How do I get off this level? Well, I hear there's been a crash. So access to high green is cut off. You'll have to use the elevator. What can you tell me about the council? I used to think they did a great job. But since they promoted Lamb, I've had my doubts. Do you know a guy called Overman? I don't think so. He certainly doesn't work here. It's locked up completely. Hey! You'll need a rad suit if you're going in there. Hey, what do you mean? This one is totally rad. I mean protective clothing. I want you to check out the storeroom. What's the catch? There's no catch. There could be something useful in there. Don't count on it. Look through to another room. Find anything useful in the stores? No, but there's a fuse box on the wall connected to the alarm system. Can you disconnect it? Sorry, no can do. Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. No chance, not in this shell. Anyway, what if a grown-up saw me? Do you want a new shell, Joey? I hope this isn't a wind-up. The shell is bolted to the chassis. I've loosened the robot's shell. Do you want a new shell, Joey? I hope this isn't a wind-up. Excellent! How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. You be careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! And cut that out! Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. I could melt through it with my welder. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Very, but I'm feeling reckless. And welding is fun. Take care, Joey.
Don't move. I have to search you. Do I have to strip off? Definitely not. There's a limit to how far I'm going to look. Hey, that tickles. Open up that coat. Why are you carrying that crowbar? It's got sentimental value. My mother gave it to me. Is that a wrench? I carry it for luck. You're a walking tool box. Blimey, smart shades. You can have them if you like. Really? Oh, I could fix them with sticky tape. Is that a can of lubricant? Yes. One squirt is just the job. I'd never be without a can of lubricant. You are now. Cause that can is mine. What the hell is that? It's a sausage sandwich. Can I have it for my lunch? You're welcome. You nicked that key, didn't you? Thank you for your cooperation. By the way, that sweater you're wearing. Don't laugh at my sweater. Oh, I'm not. I think it's brilliant. Will you swap it for my clipboard? Not in a million years. Fancy doing some welding, Joey? You bet. I want some action. Who's the victim? You can't go using your welder on people. Oh yeah? Who says? Asimov's Laws of Robotics. That's fiction, Foster. It's just something some guy made up. It's sound moral sense. Anyway, what I had in mind was that cable. This sounds like a job for Captain Welder. Excuse me. Yep. What do you want, speak up? Can you fix the elevator? You what? I said, you what? The elevator's not working. I know that. And it won't work till security says so. Who are you anyway? My name's Foster. Stay away from him, Rob. He's a human bomb. What are you talking about? He's got a fuse in his mouth. That's a cigarette. He's inhaling the smoke for pleasure. Get serious, Foster. Has security been through here? Yes, they have. Not a moment's peace. Did they find the Sabs yet? I don't think so. Yeah. I hope they string them up. Who do these Sabs represent? You what? I said, you what? Another corporation, you thick wit. Obart, our biggest rivals. You mean we're at war with them? Economically we are, and they're winning. How come? By flooding the market with gimmicky garbage. Don't you ever do any work? Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? Do you know a guy called Overman? 
Nah, never heard of him. What's your opinion of the council? They're doing a grand job. I want to get out of the city. You what? What do you want to do that for, eh? I don't belong here. Where do you belong, then? I'm from the wilderness. The Gap, you mean? Bloody awful place, full of mutants. Have you ever been there? Not me. I don't want to get contaminated. Don't mind me. I can see you're busy. Leave that alone! You trying to kill yourself? It's marked Surge Test Control. There's a safety device holding it fast. I've loosened the nut. It's marked Surge Test Control. There's a safety device holding it. I've loosened the nut. Try pressing the button on the right. Now you've done it, mate. I'll have to fetch old Ovin. And you better stay here in case there's an explosion. Open up that control panel. Can't be done. How do you know? You haven't even tried. You look at it, you'll find it's locked. What a waste of energy. It shows different kinds of fish. Reich must have been fond of them. I better not touch. It might bite. Union City Fish Fanciers Club. Third prize, tropical mutant category. Nothing in there but a dirty tissue.
That's where poor Reich slept. I couldn't sleep there. Reich would haunt me. My name's Foster. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gallagher. What's going on in this city? Something wonderful. Tell me about it, please. I can't do that. Everything will become apparent when the time is right. What are you doing? Just watching and waiting. What for? I won't know until it happens. I guess not. Are you feeling all right? Never felt better. You look depressed. Don't worry about me. You've got enough to worry about. What do you mean? Who are you? It's too early to tell. I'm newborn. Too much in flux. I don't understand. Do you always talk in riddles? I don't think I do. Maybe it's your perception that's at fault. Maybe your interpretation of what I say differs from the intent of what I mean. Maybe. Can you direct me to the ground level? You're a social transcender. Going up in this world means going down. It's all a question of status. This car doesn't work on this elevator. If that's art, I must be missing something. like a man who needs insurance, yeah? Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on you. I suppose it's possible. Better safe than sorry, yeah? I'm not interested. It shows the state of business, and it doesn't look good. Do you have a client called Overman? I'll check the computer files. Do you know the first name? Uh, no. Hmm. Do you know the address? Uh, no. Do you know what sex this person is? Well... Presumably, he's male. At last, we're getting somewhere. Now, what is his link status? I haven't a clue. Never mind. I'll try a search anyway. Name, Overman. Address, unknown. Sex, male, possibly. No, there's no Overman on my records. Can you help me get to ground level? Ah, what you need is travel insurance, huh? Yeah? Just to use an elevator? Hey, man, those things are death traps, yeah? Our policy gives you cover for all elevator-related situations. Tell me more. You'll be covered against vertigo, injuries caused by faulty doors, 
fellow passengers with flatulence. What about being trapped in an elevator? I hate confined spaces. Well, I'm sorry, but that's your problem. Maybe a shrink could help you. Why did you choose a career in insurance? With a name like mine, it was my destiny. I'm Billy Anchor, yeah? Bet that caused problems at school. It certainly did. No joke being first on the register, yeah? Never mind. Big female robot with a welding torch. What a dump. I wouldn't want to go there. Hello. Welcome to Trevor's Travel Company. Where do you want to go? Can you get me to ground level? Sure, on one of my luxury air coach tours. Coach travel makes me sick. Me too. I prefer to keep my wheels on the ground. What kind of tours do you offer? Well, there's a wide choice. The Grand City Tour, the Economy City Tour, and the Mystery Tour. What's the difference between Grand and Economy? The Economy Tour is cheaper. Exactly the same itinerary, but less prestigious. What's the Mystery Tour? If I told you, it wouldn't be a mystery. How do I know it's not a ripoff? That's the chance you have to take. I'll take the grand tour. Hmm, just one tiny point. You'll need a decent wardrobe. What's wrong with these clothes? They're fine, for a sheep farm. But what you need is something fashionable. Look who's talking. The Grand Tour is classy, see? You'll be mixing with people of elegance and money. All right, forget the Grand Tour. Book me on the Economy Tour. I'll make your reservation. You can pick up the ticket in a month or two. Can't I have the ticket now? Sorry, there's a waiting list. Is there anything you'd swap for a ticket? I doubt if you've anything which interests me. Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. Go on. Give me a ticket. I told you, there's a waiting list. It doesn't matter. Would you swap a ticket for this magazine? You mean it? Of course I will. It's the T.E. Lawrence Collector's Issue. I've been looking for that for years. Travel Co-Tours. One adult.
Hey, Blam. Hello, Supervisor. Oh, it's you. I didn't expect to meet you here. How did you gain access to this level? I took the elevator, same as you. You're not following me, are you? I've got better things to do with my time. Is this where you live? Yes, this is Bellevue. Very nice. Living here makes my job more bearable. But how I wish I could get away sometimes. What I need is a holiday. A break from all this managerial responsibility. Bet you're wondering who fixed the elevator. Whoever it was, he gets my thanks. Actually, it was me. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't pull the wool over my eyes. I thought you'd be grateful. Gratitude is for folk who accept charity, lad. I've no time for sponges and scroungers. Hey, Lamb. Would you like this ticket? What's it for, lad? A tour. Wouldn't you like a holiday? You're right. I really deserve a break. You know, I'm so touched. I'm going to give you something in return. I was kind of hoping you might. Something you'll look back on for the rest of your life. Yeah? Hi, lad. The tour of my factory. Oh, great. Meet me there. You're in for a treat. Hey, Lamb. Do you know a guy called Overman? Doberman? No, I don't. What do you do for entertainment around here? If I'm looking for entertainment, I go home and watch a video. When do I get the tour you promised me? Well, there's no time like the present. We'll start right now. Now, take a look at this machine. This machine measures the internal bore of the pipes. Accurate to 20 decimal places, whatever that means. Impressive, isn't it, all those numbers? I'm sure they mean something. Follow me. 
I'll show you the next section. This machine is supposed to drive the conveyor, but it's not bloody working. Heads will roll for this. Foreman Potts, why has this machine stopped? Stopped? I've been so busy I didn't notice. Can't I trust you with anything? Look after my guest, Potts. I'll have to leave you to show yourself around. Excuse me. Mind if I look around? Since you're a friend of Lamb's, you can go where you like. But I'd stay clear of the reactor if I was you. Unless you're wearing some protection. What are you doing now? Checking for cracks with x-rays. You shouldn't be here without a protective suit. You're not wearing one. Lamb told me I didn't qualify. As I'm a D-Link, and a woman. What's so special about these pipes? I'm not sure, but the dimensions of the bore must conform to precise specifications. All that effort for a bit of plumbing? It's suspicious, isn't it? Perhaps they're part of a giant weapon. Oh, come on, that's a bit far-fetched. What are you doing after work? What do you have in mind? Well, an evening at the theater, a walk by the lake in the moonlight, and to finish, a candlelit supper. Sounds great, but first I'll have to get decontaminated. Another time, perhaps. What's your opinion of lamb? I'm a D-Link. I'm not entitled to an opinion. But to be honest, I think he's a turd. What's a D-Link? D-Link is the lowest social category. When your link status is zero, you forfeit all rights and your freedom to move back the city. How come you didn't know that? I'm an outsider from The Gap. So it's you security you're after. You won't get far without an ID card. Ah, I managed to find one. I bet it won't get you to ground level, though. You'll need a link status of eight or more. I have to get to ground level. Look, I really sympathize with you. I could give you my jammer. What's a jammer? Bypass software. Highly illegal. It gets you past the retina scan to security files. That's a start. Can you let me have the jammer? Give me your ID card. Here's my card. Thanks. This won't take long. What are you doing? Downloading the jammer to your card. There, it's done. Don't worry. I'll fix everything. You're taking a huge risk. No problem. I'll get us both back on Link's files. How come you were made a D-Link? I was caught hacking into Link. Why did you do that? There are areas in link space used by security. I was trying to discover what they're up to. What do you mean by link space? The word inside the computer's memory. The abstract projection of link circuits and data banks. Will the jammer get me into link space? <laughs> no, the only access is through the special interface. There's just one little problem. You'll need to get a Schreiberman port. How do I get a Schriebman port? Well, you'll have to undergo surgery. I need that like I need a hole in the head. The Schreiberman port is a hole in the head. Does Link have any internal security? They'll be foils, naturally. What are they? The intrusion foil programs. Are they dangerous? 
The standards at IFPs are simply deterrents, but some high-level foils can be lethal. What do you know about the Council? It was one of the Council who came up with the plan to bond his mind with Link, and ever since then things have been getting weird. See you later. Excuse me. What's your job? I can't hear what you're saying. It's a waste of time talking to you. You're wasting your breath. Can you understand the guy in the suit? Not in the least. I don't think he can hear me either. It's positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. The things folk do for fashion. Welcome to Burke's Biosurgery. How may I help you? What services do you provide? A complete range of fash ops. From personal piercing to cosmetic transplants. I want a Shriebman port. Your name, please? Robert Foster. There's little chance of seeing the doctor. Why not? I have instructions not to disturb them. Unless you wish to pay cash, of course. Those breasts are never natural. Bet those muscles are artificially developed. I wouldn't bear my bum if it looked like that. A nose like that would be great for tracking. This card doesn't work on this elevator.
Come on, Joey. Good grief, it's positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. The things folk do for fashion. Those breasts are never natural. Bet those muscles are artificially developed. I wouldn't bear my bum if it looked like that. A nose like that would be great for tracking. Can anyone else supply the port? Oh no! The service is unique to Dr. Burke. Try talking to that hologram, Joey. What for? I need to see the doctor. And she won't let me in. What shall I say to her? Use your natural charm on her. I've got an idea. I'll try the subtle approach. Hey, you! Open that door! I take my orders from Dr. Burke. I take mine from Oberman. Why didn't you say so before? Good grief. It's an old phrenological diagram. Poor devil. Hello there. You're conscious. Oh, yes. You don't look so good. Well, thanks very much. Full marks for your bedside manner. Have you brought me any grapes? I didn't come here to visit you. What are you here for? To see the doctor. You'll regret it. He's completely mad, you know. He's not even qualified. Why are you here then? I needed the money. I'm trying to escape from the city. Is that so? I need a Shreedman port. You don't need a surgeon. You need your head examined. Do you know anyone called Overman? I've never heard of him. I have to go now. Drop by again sometime. Excuse me. Don't make me jump like that! Sorry, didn't realize you were busy. Just practicing. I like to keep my hand in. What can I do for you? I need a Shreedman port. Really? Do you have sufficient credit? All I've got are the clothes I'm wearing. In that case, you require the easy pay scheme. Yes, that sounds perfect. Kidney, lung, or testicles? What? What? Which organ do you wish to sell? I'm not selling anything. No parts, no port. Send in the next customer. Excuse me. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. I'd have to run some tests. Stand behind the scanner, please. Turn around, please. 
I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. I'd have to overprice myself to be profitable. You make money by trading people's organs? What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? Excuse me. I suppose I could spare a lung. Let's have a look at them first. On the scanner? Yes, please. Hold still, please. Has someone been experimenting on you? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. Is there something wrong? Tell me, Doc, I can take it. You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. Excuse me. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my... It's not as bad as you think. When I said I'd take your testes, I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? Oh no, it doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. In that case, I need a general anesthetic. You now have a Schriebman port. You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. Excuse me. Your receptionist certainly is strange. That's my wife you're talking about. You're married to a hologram? She wasn't a hologram when we wed. She died last year, but I decided to keep her. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. Can you get me to ground level, Doc? I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend Willy. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. I've had a bad knock on the head. Any after effects? Yeah, pain. Impairment of vision? I keep seeing flying saucers. Any dizziness? Yeah, I can hardly stand. You know, I get exactly the same myself. I wish I knew what causes it. Thanks again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you.
I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Dr. Burke. The ghoul, huh? He is cool. So, how can I help you? Can you get me out of the city? It's dangerous. Are you sure you've got the balls? That's a delicate subject. Wait here. I have to make a call. Use your welder on that statue, Joey. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding. Any luck with your contact? Security have put a hold on comms. Seems there's a saboteur on the loose. Never mind. Can you interface with that computer, Joey? I could if I wanted to. I'm asking you to do it. Correction, you're ordering me to do it. Don't be pedantic. Just do it. What am I searching for? Anything on Overman for a start. This directory is a hopeless mess. I'm going to reorganize his hard drive. That's better. There's nothing on Overman though. Come on, Joey. This could be the most stupid thing I've ever done.
So my real name is Robert Overman. But why does Link want me? And what's happened to my father? Seen anything of Obins? What do you want him for? To mend the pipe in the power plant. Can't you fix it yourself? I wouldn't dare. Well, I haven't seen Obbins all day. He's probably busy. Hey, Lamb. Thanks for the tour. You're welcome. I hope you've learned something about pipes. Oh yes, it was most instructive. From now on, whenever I smell raw sewage, I'll think of you, Gilbert. Let me give you a tip, lad. If you want to get anywhere in this city, you have to bend the rules. In what way? If you don't want to get entangled in red tape, you need insurance, a special policy. See my friend Anchor. He'll help you out. Hey, Lamb. Do you have a problem? Hi, lad. I was hoping to see you. My card isn't working, and I can't use the elevator. Perhaps you've been made a D-Link. Don't be so bloody impertinent, lad. What will poor little Cuscus -cus do? Who's Cuscus? -cus? My pussy. She has to be fed. What would I do if she died? Make a hat to match your coat? I don't think that's very funny, lad. Besides, cat and beaver fur wouldn't match. I could feed her for you, if I could get into your apartment. You go down to Bellevue, and I'll authorize it so you can. By the way, Cuscus likes to be pampered. Like all women, eh, lad? <laughs> Apart from D-Links, you mean. You need therapy, lamb.
Come on, Joey. What a fat cat! Hello, puss. I better not stroke it. It might scratch me. Oh no! Joey must have forgotten he'd changed shells. I hope his board isn't broken. What's through that door? It's off limits to the likes of you. I just wondered where it leads. It's the old cathedral. There's nothing interesting in there. In fact, it's empty. Why guard an empty cathedral? I'm not guarding it exactly. I'm just standing here. Preventing me from entering. Yes. Do you know the woman with the dog? Oh yes, that's Mrs. Piermont. The richest woman in Union City. And the ugliest. What's the best way out of the city? There isn't a way out. Then the inhabitants are no better than prisoners. That's the price of progress. Never mind. Excuse me. Hold it. Your uh, membership card, please? I don't have one. This is a private club. Oh, I didn't know that. You do now. Peace off. How do I join the club? You have to be sponsored by an existing member. It's a most exclusive establishment. Frequented only by those with the proper credentials. You mean people with money? No, people with credit. There's a world of difference. People with money think they can afford not to care. People with credit know they can't, but don't care anyway. What goes on in the club? If I was to tell you that this club provides recreational facilities par excellence for a clientele with elegance and taste, I'd be lying through my teeth. 
You just said it was exclusive. Oh, it is exclusive, but uh, CD. The reason people come here is the cheap booze. And the fact that it's off limits to security. Smart shoes. Oh, thanks. You can tell a lot from a man's shoes. The design tells you what kind of man he is. The way he cares for them tells you where he's going. And what he's trodden in tells you where he's been. Do you know anyone who'd sponsor me? What about old widow Pierre She used to come here, oh, years ago. If you chatted her up, she might sponsor you. I don't know Mrs. Piermont personally. Oh, you must have seen her with her dog. Mrs. Piermont is the one with two legs. See you later. Excuse me. Hello, darling. I don't believe we've met. No, I'm a stranger here. I'm Mrs. Piermont. But you can call me Danielle. Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Why? Are you interested in Overman? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Overman's only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. My mother was killed, but I survived and I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If there's any way I can help you, just ask. Would you sponsor me for the club? If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. But I don't want to visit the club. I'll call the manager from my apartment. Oh, come to mummy, Spunky. Hello, who are you? My name's Vincent, what's yours? I'm Robert. Oh, come to mummy, Spunky. Why aren't you at school, Vincent? My tutor's malfunctioned. I tried to reprogram it to play video games. Haven't you got any human friends? Of course I have. None of them would play with me though, because I always beat them. What's that you're playing with? It's my handheld games console. Neat. What's the game? It's called Fleecy the Lamb. That sounds nice. What's the objective? Torch the mutant psychos with your flamethrower and stop Dante Mantis from butchering the orphans. But that's horrible. Yeah, I've played better. What other games have you got? Not many, cause they're too expensive. They're smuggled into the city from Hobart. I've got Nobby, the platform game, Onan the Barbarian, and Revenge of the Deadly Dandelions. I suppose they keep you out of mischief. Do you know a man called Overman? No, Rob. Why do you want to know? He's my dad. Aren't you a little old to have a dad? Last time I saw him, I was a little boy. I was taken away to the Gap. The Gap? Oh, wow! I'd like to escape to the Gap. I'm tired of being told what to do. 
Do you know the woman with the dog? That's Mrs. Payman, and she's a pig. That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, she tried to confiscate my console. She gave me a lecture and tried to force me to join the Junior Security Corps. Don't wear out your thumbs. Hello! Who is this? It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob. Welcome to my humble little home, Robert. You know, I remember you as a baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. You must have so many questions to ask me. Yes, I have. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Helmut was the designer of Link. It was his dream, but he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes. He stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to cope. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. The authorities never approved of her marriage either because she came from Hobart. Eventually, she decided to return home. So the bastards had her killed. You're overwrought, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? I don't want analgesic. I want answers. Is my father still alive? I've not seen him since my husband's funeral. What a magnificent occasion. I wish I could have stayed until the end. You walked out of your husband's funeral? I had no choice. Poor Spunky hates cathedrals. All that incense and droning makes him bilious. No sooner had I got him outside than up came his breakfast. Who the hell is Spunky? My dog, of course. Now, where was I? Well... When I got back, they were all gone. Congregation, choir, coffin and all. Why didn't you want to visit the club? The memories are too painful. Did you go there with the professor? Yes. We met in a club. Oh, he was a handsome young graduate. And I was a... Flower in my first bloom. He plucked me from the Garden of Innocence. I see what you mean. The memories are painful. Are you going to sponsor me now? If that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangement. This won't take a moment. Danielle Piermont here. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. full of biscuits and dog drool.
Excuse me. Smart floral display. Are they real? What do you think? They look kind of shiny. Naturally, I've just varnished them. Do you paint the flowers too? This is Union City, not Wonderland. You obviously know nothing about plants. Won't the varnish harm the plants? Au contraire, clever dick. It filters out the crap in the atmosphere. What are you doing to that plant? I'm modelling a living sculpture. It's called topiary, and it's an art form. What are those blue flowers called? They're dandelions. Don't touch them! They're pretty. But why can't I touch them? Because if you do, you'll wet your bed. Hmm? I haven't done that for months. See you later. Tell me about your dandelion game. Ah, it's brilliant. You get chased by these giant yellow weeds. You mean dandelions are yellow? The gardener told me they were blue. He's mad. He's not a real gardener. How'd you know the gardener is a fake? He's got green fingers. That's the sign of a naturally talented gardener. I saw him dipping them in the paint. Anyway, the plants are made of plastic. You're a real help, Vincent. No problem, Rob. Don't wear out your thumbs. Excuse me. You told me dandelions were blue. Did I? Well, what of it? This boy assures me they're yellow. Ugh, smart-ass little brat. All right, you got me sussed. I haven't had any formal training, but I've always dreamed of being a gardener. I love them. Every little shrub and succulent. Those dainty blossoms waving their little stamens in the breeze. All right, I get the point. You won't report me, will you? Why should I do that? Hello, Mr. Overman. How did you know my name? You're a member now, sir. It's my business to know all our members. Can I go in now? Certainly. But you're in for a disappointment. How come? It looks smart, with the lights turned low. But in daylight, it's a flipping toilet. Never mind. Hi. Mind if I join you? Good afternoon to you, Mr. Overman. What do you think of the club? The decor is really unpleasant. I chose that myself. I'm Colston, the manager of the club. Pleased to meet you. How do I get out of this city? Can you see I'm busy? I'll take your turn for you. And lose the game for me? You're gonna lose anyhow. Don't be so sure, Gallagher. I've got something up my sleeve. I knew you were cheating. Well, so are you. Excuse me. Hi. Mind if I join you? Well, hello yourself. They call me Babs. Pleased to meet you. See you later.
Oh, don't count on it. Excuse me. Can I have a drink, please? No chance. Why not? Nice rules. Excuse me. Do the rules prohibit me from drinking? No, oh, you can drink all you want. But I can't serve you. You are the bartender, right? Well, I'm not the cabaret. How come you can get a drink and I can't? I told you. It's the house rules. Colston would fire me if I gave you a drink. I'm gonna complain about you. Please yourself. What are the band called? The Hot Club Quartet. But there's only three of them. Yeah, the saxophonist OD'd last month. Did the saxophonist OD on drugs? No. Too much sax. He got overexcited and ruptured his lungs. Never mind. There's a thumb-sized indentation in the plate. Hmm, it doesn't react to my thumbprint. They look really happy, or stoned. Excuse me. Never mind. Just for a second, you scared me, but you're only dummies. They're not human. Someone's been making androids. They must have switches to activate them somewhere. Damned if I'm gonna look for them, though. There aren't any markings on it, or locks. You don't look so healthy. You should get out in the sunshine. His skin is cold, like plastic. This place is spooky. His skin is cold, like plastic. There aren't any markings on it. Or locks. Oh no, not her, not Anita. Her skin is burnt and blistered. 
She appears to have been exposed to radiation. He doesn't have any eyelashes. His skin is cold, like plastic. Yo, that's horrible. I don't think a severed head would be any use. A ventilation shaft. Better keep away from the edge or I'll get sucked off. Hey, Lamb. What do you know about Anita's death? I don't know what you're talking about. The girl you sent to the reactor. She's been killed, Lamb. Look, I don't know out about murder. You might think I was hard on the last. But I had nothing to do with her death. The power in those things gives me the willies. If it wasn't for the heat shield, I'd be frazzled.
back to you, Rob, listen carefully. You're the only one who can help. I was supposed to make contact with an agent from Hobart. Trouble is, the rendezvous was in a park on ground level. And now I'm a dealing, I can't get there. The agent's name is Eduardo. I don't know how you'll get to leave. But beneath the city there are tunnels. The remains of the old subway. That could be a way in. Excuse me. Do you know a girl called Anita? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Why do you want to know? She's been murdered. I found her body in the cathedral. Can't see why you're telling me. Excuse me. What's your name? It's Eduardo. Why? You're Anita's contact, right? How come you know so much? She left a message on her card. Listen, do you know what's happened to Link? I'm totally confused. Link is a living, self-replicating organism. Originally, it served as an advisor to the Council. But it has gradually taken control. How and why? We're really not sure. Hobart scientists have developed a virus. It will check Link's growth, if we can get it into the system. Will you give me the virus? I can't. It's been downloaded to Link space. Anita was supposed to retrieve it, since she had a Shreveman port. So have I. I owe it to Anita to get that virus. No chance. It's bound to be guarded. I can try at least. Excuse me. See you later. Silence in court. Security Services, Department of Justice, Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. Court is now in session. Silence. I recognize that villain. An habitual criminal, if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first contestant? Defendant, my lord. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. Howard Hobbins, come on up. 
Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on, then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Ah, monstrous, off with his head. Just a flippin' minute. Who's defending me? Defence? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. Upon my soul, whatever next? Who would be silly enough to defend this wretch? Very well, let's get on with round one. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt! Please tell the court what happened. Ah, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Ah, that's him in the overalls. I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cap? Ah, uh, we haven't heard the defence, my lord. Ah, uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Now then, Officer Blunt. What was the nature of your injuries? I got very wet. But you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. Tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway above. So, you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. But I'd recognize his laugh anywhere. Just how well do you know Hobbins? I've never met him before. And yet you say you recognized his laughter. Uh, I don't know. Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points for a well-timed interruption. So who did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Pierbolt. What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions. But he still hasn't confessed. Did you examine the dog? I tried to. And? The bugger bit me. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, men, what's wrong? Um, repetition, my lord. Objection overruled. Are you guilty of assault, Howard? 
not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable and overloaded the steam release in the power station. That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I'd nearly wet me pants. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the bonus round. The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Any comments from the defense? I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. Silence! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. Howard Hobbins, you've won tonight's star prize. Life imprisonment. However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Two hours community service. Court dismissed. Get your hands off my drink, Buster! There's a thumb-sized indentation in the plate. Hmm, it doesn't react to my thumbprint. There's no sign of a lock or a card slot. Hey, music lover. If you're looking for the best in sounds, I got them. The music of the spheres right here on Earth. So come on, get your fingers on my buttons. Let's make beautiful music together. How offensive. Why they put voices in these machines is beyond me. I'm all warmed up for you, baby. Shut up and let me check the selections. Oh, Lord, it's mostly country and western. Nobody's perfect. Ah, there are three tunes by the resident band. So, what's your choice, big boy? You search, but find nothing. Excuse me. Is there a subway around here? All there used to be. The club was named after the station. See you later. Oh, don't count on it.
Excuse me. Thanks again. It's a Excuse me. Can you match my fingerprints to those on this glass? Oh yes. My machine will do that automatically. It's not against the law, is it? Whatever gave you that idea? Don't security use them to check people's identities? If they do, it's the first time I've heard of it. The usual procedure for identification of suspects is a retina scan at the post-mortem. Now, about these prints you requested. Open the panel on my machine and insert the glass. Then place your hands in the autodermatome. Will this hurt, Doc? Oh, yes. Quite considerably. The door has an old-fashioned lock on it. It's an old trick, but it still works. It's a map of the subway, which means I'm getting close to Link. Central, High Green, Museum, and St. James. They must be the names of the old subway stations. With the lid on top, it might bear my weight. Too dark to see what's beyond the grill. The subway. It's like a warren built by giant rabbits.
There's something in there. Something horrible. The picture is covered with mold and dirt. It's the station's name, Museum. Uh-oh, the tunnel roof doesn't look too stable. That thing's alive! I wonder what it is! I've exposed the bricks beneath the plaster. Skin's too tough to tear with my fingers. It's penetrated the outer skin. Ugh! I made a hole right through the vein! It's the controls for opening the cover. Pulling the handle has loosened the grill. The grill will fall if it's stepped on. charging itself at the power supply. How do you feel, Joe? I'm completely operational. And all my circuits are functioning perfectly. That's a relief. Is there any immediate danger? If your presence here is detected, Termination is more than likely. Are there any other humans in this area? Negative. What about the guy in the tank room? Negative. The technician is an android. 
I advise you to avoid contact with it. Are you really the Joey I grew up with? You don't sound like him. That is unavoidable. My shell has a limited syntactic processor. Oh well. At least you're not so argumentative. Please be more specific. I want a detailed report on everything. Especially that android. The android could be dangerous. Exactly. I don't want to risk my neck. That's where the medical robot gets its power. Give me a report on the tank room. The growth tanks contain developing androids. Nourishment is supplied from a tank. The temperature is maintained by convection from an underground source. Tell me about the android. It is programmed to safeguard the developing androids. Is he dangerous? It's certainly stupid enough to constitute a threat. Tell me about the nutrient tank. The tank contains chemicals on which the androids feed. So, without it they'd die? Affirmative. Is there a way of draining the tank? Manual evacuation is achieved by opening a tap. Tell me about the computer. Access to the computer is denied. Tell me about the growth tanks. Access to the growth tanks is not possible. Open the tap to the nutrient tank. That will distract the android technician. Hello! I was not expecting a visitor. A puddle? The tank must be leaking. Humans one, androids nil. You've saved me the bother of coming to find you. I should have guessed you were part of all this. Why do you think Reich had to die when he tried to kill you? Or that meddling girl who tried to help you escape? Link needs you alive, Overman. That's why it planned this family reunion. Get out while you can, Rob. Stop! 
Tell me what you want from me! You won't be needing this robot where you're going. It's an android! Aha! Another ID card from my collection. It wasn't Joey's lucky day. Poor Joey didn't last long in that shell. I'll take his board as a memento. has caused the program to crash. The tissue is frozen now. How do you feel, Joey? I'm not entirely sure, sir. I feel soft and curiously vulnerable. That's because you're practically human. And this feeling of insecurity is natural? Oh yeah, you'll get used to it. By the way, sir, take my advice. Don't wake the other androids. Why not? If they've been programmed, they'll terminate you. I think you need a new name, Joey. I concur with your observation, Mr. Foster. What do you consider an appropriate sobriquet? I'm gonna call you Ken. That's wonderful news, sir. Tell me, are there any memorable Kens in history? The Ken whom I might seek to emulate? All the Kens I can think of were dorks. Splendid! It will be my mission in life 
to make the name Ken synonymous with dorks. How do you like your new body? It's wonderful, sir. There's just one thing. What's that? When will I be getting the accessories? I don't know what you mean. Ears, body hair, those little decorative parts? You're better off without them, believe me. Thanks for saving me from the android. My actions were the only logical course. What I cannot comprehend is how an android could behave in such an irrational manner. Why, it was almost as if he was human. What did he mean by a family reunion? Since your mother was killed, that leaves only my father. You never speak of him, do you? That's because I can't remember him. Can't or won't, sir. Are we close to Link's core? Almost certainly, sir. I can sense its presence in a strange and mysterious way. Like the old man, the pictures in the campfire. He saw it too, the evil beneath the city. And then he died with the rest of the tribe. This isn't the time for remorse, sir. You must destroy the evil and avenge their deaths. Never mind. It's storage, for what I couldn't guess. I'm obviously supposed to put my hand on that. Place your hand on that lock sensor. With pleasure, sir. Hey, rubber man! What's wrong with you? I appear to have a problem, sir. My hand has melted onto the door. I don't like to leave you here. I'll be free in no time, sir. Have you got an axe? No, I haven't. Why? You could have used it to sever my hand. That's unthinkable. Still stuck? I'm afraid so, sir. It's frustrating, to say the least. Never mind. poisoned the sludge. This could be the second most stupid thing I've ever done. Father? Is that Robert? Oh, my son. Why did you come here? I thought you'd be glad to see me. I did everything I could to stop you. You're in terrible danger. Get away. I'm taking you with me. How do I disconnect you from the machine? Listen to me. Link needs a replacement for my brain. And the best choice was someone related by blood. It sent Reich and his goons to bring you here. Link killed Reich when he threatened you. But if Link wanted me alive, why did it wreck the helicopter? That was my doing, Robert. I managed to wrest control from Link for a few seconds. Long enough to cause the crash. I hope to spare you my fate, Robert. Ken, you're just in time. Uh, I thought you might need a hand, sir. I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. 
What happened, brother? Link has rejected me. And without it, I'll die. Help me, quickly! What do you want me to do, sir? Sit in that chair. Are you going to plug me into Link, sir? I hope you know what you're doing. Something is happening, I think. Yes, I'm gaining control. I found my destiny, Mr. Foster. Can you ever forgive me, Robert? For letting your machine kill my mother? Please, try to understand. It was the greatest experiment ever devised. Tapping the unexplored depths of the human brain. The potential of the subconscious mind. You fused with this machine deliberately? It was a well-considered plan, my boy. Well-considered? It was nothing but megalomania. I had a dream. The fusion process was an apparent success. But the computer shared access to my human failings. It learned of greed, of vanity. It reveled in the power it wielded. I was almost powerless in the hands of this monster. Which is the monster, Father? The computer or you? Robert. Oh, Robert! You were my only reason for wanting to live. Father? Father! Too late. It's over now. About the vacancy in the sewage grading plan, Howard, perhaps we should assign the position to Gilbert Lamb. Hello, Mr. Hobbins. Hello, son. What do you want? I've come to say goodbye. You still plan to go back to the Gap? Yeah, I've had it with city life. I'm certainly going to miss you both. Why don't you come too? We got enough to do. Get in Union City back to normal. I reckon you'll make a great team. Will you come back to visit us, sir? I'm not sure about that, Ken. But I'll be thinking of you. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hobbins. Here's your wrench. Thanks, son. I'll need that if Ken gives me any trouble. Goodbye, friends. And thanks. Be vigilant.